My vibrator doesn't fit. What can I do? Get another one. But where are we putting it? Yeah, I'm wondering where it's <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Um, I'd so, love to know what they're using. Yes. And is it, is it, so let's actually, let's pause for a second. Is it causing pain? Like, are they, are they, is this the first vibrator they've ever used? Right. You know, um, are we using lube? Right. That kind of thing. Um, not, it's one vibrator does not fit all, yes. not even remotely. Yes. And I would want to make sure that this person was using something that was appropriately sized for them. Right. But we also don't know where they're putting it. Right. Yeah, I agree. So there's lots of, or not lots of, there are sex positive um, sex toy shops where you can go yep. and actually the people that work there are also there to educate um, their customers mm -hmm. about the different products. Mm -hmm. So I would say um, depending on what you're interested in using the vibrator for, there's totally. different vibrators you can buy. Yes. So I'd be for like clitoral stimulation, vaginal Absolutely. insertion, anal insertion. There's different vibrators mm -hmm. designed specifically for those different activities. They're shaped differently, exactly. they're sized differently, they have different speeds. Like right. it, the speed can actually be an issue with, with how something will fit and right. comfortably. Um, just a local shout out, Good Vibrations in Brookline yes. is one of the most sex positive shops ever. Yes. And you can you can get you have they have an array of vibrators for to talk to you about if you need help with that. Yeah. Um, but please don't not use a vibrator. <laughs> like Please don't not use it. Yeah. Um, you should definitely find one that, that fits yes. and that feels okay. And use it with lube. <laughs> <Use it. laughs>